Hello, my name is Second, and we are playing all of Fabric 5. And uh, last time, we set up a system in our still very ugly basement. It's actually not that great up here with all these torches everywhere, but we're going to get to deal with that at some point. Um, to improve our power scene, we've got uh, lava being generated down there, just uh, renewably, hands-free, feeding into these, uh, these scalding generators and uh, making power from the lava. And uh, the good news is that uh, this can keep up with, uh, with these machines in a way that the, uh, the coal power was not able to keep up. So that's very good. Um, but what we're going to be doing today, um, we've got to get started on applied energistics. And, you know, I'd, the last time I really used applied energistics was in uh, 1.6, before uh, it became applied energistics 2. It was a very different mod, um, although it you know, kind of did the same stuff. It just did it in a different way. So what I'm going to do, since I don't know what I'm doing, is uh, just kind of follow the quest line and hope that we can figure it out. Now, the first thing beyond checkboxes that we have the ability to make is a charger. Just copper and iron. We're going to pop it up here. And uh, this thing should be able to, uh, to get energy. Oh, it doesn't have a GUI, does it? All right. Now, apparently, we can use this to charge the tools. We may actually need Applied Energistics power to use it, but it was the first quest we can complete. So let's go ahead and get a, a Golden Boomerang as a quest reward. Sweet. Now the next thing on the menu is the Charged Certus Quartz Crystal. We're about to find out if this will uh, if this will do anything. Now it's offline, so we're going to need a, a system set up to actually use that. Now, what I wanted to see were quests for the uh, the things we're going to have to gather up out of the world. I don't I don't know if I don't see them because I don't see them, or if I don't see them because they're not here. So, what we're going to do, I hope, is build something called a meteorite compass. Okay. Oh no. We uh we can't do that. We're gonna need the charged certus quartz to actually do that. And I don't know that I've seen a meteorite. Um, we got a couple possibilities of where we could go look for one. One of which is just you know anywhere, because I believe they generally spawn on the surface. Then again, this is a fabric version, and we've already noticed some diversions from mods that, you know, we believed we were familiar with. Uh, so maybe that's not the case. I think what we might want to do, maybe, is go to some new chunks and see how that works out. Or maybe, maybe there's another possibility. Can we make... Fluix dust. It looks like we can. Oh, no, we need a charge crystal to do that, too. Okay. Well, we're out here in some new chunks, and the first thing I saw were these guys. Um, it's a giant nudibranch, branch, huh? Um, these are from Mythic Mounts, and we tame them the same way we would the other ones. Do I have a saddle on me? No. There was something else over here, like, uh, like chocobos or something. Am I being pursued? Yes, I am. What is this thing? It's a sunken skeleton on the promenade mod, or promenade. It's a world gen mod. And here's another one. What's their beef? Get out of here. Anyway, I <laughs> saw something else over here. Yeah, these boys. 
They look like, uh, well, they're scaredy. I can't tell what they are. I'm sure they're also from Mythic Mountains. They have that look to them. Let's see if we can get close enough to uh, determine what they are. They look an awful lot like chocobos. Let's just get uh, Courier Bird. Neat. Now, what we're looking for should be pretty easy to spot, but I haven't spotted one in any of our travels so far. So uh, we're going to continue to uh, to search around, I guess. And I got distracted by a structure. It was uh, four skeleton spawners in here. There might still be skeletons around. Um, hear them. But there's uh, all kinds of redstone back there. So just in case, like, we're going to tear all this stuff down. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen in here. I still hear skeletons around. Maybe they're below us. Um, we're still, like, near the top. It's like a big pyramid. Uh, Alright, do these do anything? Something above us? Sure looks like it, doesn't it? Uh oh. Let's see. Press me. I'm gonna loot this chest first. Okay, there's not that. Well, the name tags are this. <laughs> ah! Oh, that's okay. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Let's see here. Oh, there are some saddles in case we run into some more of those, uh, those mounts. Goof around. Take the gold box. I don't know how rare the skulls. Oh, you know what we should do? We should see what that book is before we stuff these spawns. Anything else? Oh, nah, just some, some stuff. Wither by Amos. That's not what I was expecting. How to summon the Wither. Don't come back until you have three. Gets points. Hmm. <laughs> right on. Yeah, there's another mob spawner up here. Um, there it is. Hey! Look at my face. Funny how bad skeletons are in close quarters. There's another one back here. Another spawner. Skull. Okay, I think we're in luck. This looks an awful lot like... Oh, there's another one of those pyramids. <laughs> They're everywhere. Looks an awful lot like Implied Energistics 2 Meteor. Let's find out. Ooh. Haunted Lakes. Oh yeah, this is what we're looking for. Wonderful. What that? Th what is this? What is this? It's a flamingo. Let's stand on one leg. What's going on? Oh, it's a zombie spawner. Tough luck, zombies. Anything in here? Yeah. Now, the main events right here. Um, we are gonna want some of this sky stone. That's a lot easier to spot than it used to be. There never used to be these flux blocks. Um, you know, I have messed with A2 a little bit. You run into it in mod packs. One, okay, that's, okay, this is what we're here for. Okay, we got two calculation presses. And some more sky stone. What's this thing? It's a ghost. Hello. 
Are you friendly? You're friendly. You're telling me to stay away. Stay away from the haunted forest, says the ghost. We'll listen to the ghost for now. We should mark this, though. If that's from Bewitchment, I'll bet this biome is from Bewitchment. Make a quick waypoint. All right. Uh, haunted biome. All right, we found one more. Not too. Wasn't too difficult. Um, where's our shovel? There's our shovel. This time we'll just uh, burrow in here. I think we only need so much sky stone. But if we need more, we can always come back, you know? Find the middle here. Maybe we will give it a good. Oh, there we go. And Certus Quartz, Logic Presses, and a Silicon Press. Okay. Now with this stuff, we should be able to make some things. I, th I think we might actually already be able to make some things. I just don't know what I'm doing for uh, for making charged Certus Quartz. Actually, we'll just pop a waystone down here. So what I noticed while I was kind of flipping through uh, REI, I guess, is uh, something called an energy acceptor. It doesn't look that hard to make. We just need a little bit of quartz glass. And we're probably going to need a bunch of quartz glass. So uh, no reason not to do it. We should accept. Uh, Exterp. <laughs> there we go. One energy acceptor. I don't know what it does, but what I'm hoping it does is uh, it'll take uh, the energy we're making over here and convert it into applied energistics energy. We may be horribly disappointed. Okay, I won't be that disappointed. I'm not even sure it's going to work. <laughs> but let's see if it does. You could just put it, uh, let's say, right down here. I don't know. One way to find out, I guess. I thought it said online for a second there. Um, it is online. Okay. Okay. So we could go ahead and, well, we got four. We might as well toss a couple in here. I'm sure we can only do one at a time. Um, okay, that was quick, though. All right. Charged Certus Quartz. Now we're talking. Now we get a random reward. We got pants! All right, we got pants. Now the next thing I guess we need is Fluix dust so we can make Fluix crystals, but I wonder about these. Haha. <laughs> that gives us a decent amount. Certainly enough to complete the quest. Uh, bronze. Oh, nine bronze. Take nine bronze. And let's do something with all this gold, too, huh? Okay. So, I guess the next thing on the menu is a controller, maybe? Crafting storage. Energy acceptor. Okay, so we'll, we'll pick that up, I guess. Um, to uh, complete that quest. All right, there we go. Hear that? What is that? Oh, that's the uh, that's the block breaker down there. I forgot about it. Okay, so one energy acceptor, and we got trailing dark chocolate. Fancy. 
some right now. I'm hungry. That's not bad. And we can finally make our compass. Let's see. Be lying if I said I knew how these worked. Um, where is storage, right? Yeah. Let's see if we can figure this out. Oh ho! I see it. There's another little uh, little uh, needle down there. Now it's pointing in a direction that we certainly haven't found a meteor in, or at least rated one. So let's be on our way. So you can see it's spinning around. I think we found one underground in the middle of the ocean. I just uh, dived down and dug down. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, this went poorly. Oh. Okay, just a slime to deal with now. Yeah, so we crashed through the water a couple times. Um, ended up down here. Uh, it's pretty rough down here. I'm not sure if we missed a meteor. There you are. I can hear you. I couldn't see you. Um, let's see if we can't uh, light things up a little bit. These guys are everywhere. <laughs> this thing's still spinning. But this is a somewhat less than ideal place to uh, to be looking for one. Well, this isn't so bad. Um, this is just a cave, normal one. It's still just spinning, like it's down here somewhere. But uh, I don't know that it's worth the. Uh, the trouble to find it. Well, I never found the meteorite. In fact, I died down there. <laughs> it's like smashed into a wall. Um, the feather falling four weren't enough to, uh, to save me. So, lesson learned. Um, we're not gonna really go for any that uh, the old compass tells us are underwater. Uh, with the new caves, it's just uh, super dangerous. Uh huh. Look out for uh, naturally spawning glass. It's usually a pretty good sign that you're uh, you found one of these things. Like that, and we'll take. Got all these already. Ah, that's okay. We'll just keep a looking. Okay, got another one. I'm not complaining about uh, about all these flux blocks we're getting. That's uh, one last thing. Oh, an engineering press at last. All right. Let's head home. So now that we got these things, what do we do with them? Um, first thing we do with them is uh, we're going to put them in some inscribers. Put them in some inscribers. I can talk. Um, we're going to need some sticky pistons. And we're going to need some iron. And we're going to need a little bit of copper. So, uh, more copper. Iron, I need sticky pistons, right? Okay, there's four. We're gonna want one for, for each kind of press here. But the first thing we're gonna do is uh, is upgrade.
read them. No, we're going to need engineering processors first. Okay, that's fine. You can't really automate these. It's a frustrating thing about applied energistics is that some of the more tedious things in the mod, you, uh, you can't automate. And it's a mod about automation, I guess. Uh, oh, the block breaker. That's right. So let's see what's up with this first. We would need, we need, uh, how many of these? Eight? These you can automate. Um, it's, and you can put a whole stack in, like with the basement ones, you can only make one processor, silicon mold, or whatever it is at a time. So we're going to need a printed engineering circuit. That's inscriber. And, oh, we're going to need another inscriber, aren't we? Yeah, there's four presses, but you need one more to uh, combine things that you've gotten out of the first two. So we are going to need, um, we're going to need eight printed silicon. Silicon we can get from, uh, from cooking up this certus quartz dust that we've been mining. Might as well do a whole stack of it. Here we go. Uh, one of these has a silicon press in it. Let's see this one. Okay. So, you can't put two in. As you can see, um, let's see, do I need to power this thing? I think I just might need to power those things. Um, there we go. Uh, just ticks. Where's the cable? It's here somewhere, right? Smart cables, quartz fiber cable. This is the kind of thing we're looking for. Okay, so glass, certus quartz dust. No big deal. There are upgraded forms of cables, and we'll be using some of those uh, going forward. But for now, this will be just fine. We're going to run... Funny about this. They don't want to connect to each other, do they? Can I make a controller without any of the uh, without any of the things I need? I very much doubt it. Do 
just that. That ought to be enough. Okay. Yeah, now we're talking. We're just gonna run this right over. So that uh, these inscribers have the proper kind of power that they need. Subscribers are from another mod. They're from A2 Things, which uh, adds some stuff. It adds a crystal growth chamber. That's cool. That'll grow uh, crystals for us, I think. We'll have to check that out. Bigger drives. Neato. Now, what you do is you take these things. Stone. And the three of them get put together to make a circuit. Now we are a processor in this case. It's an engineering processor. Now with a couple of hoppers and some iron and one of these regular inscribers and these engineering processors, we can go ahead and make an advanced inscriber. Let's check it out. Yeah, fancy. Main thing I'm hoping I can do is just throw a whole bunch of silicon in there. Yeah, wonderful. So I can do a stack, I can probably uh, hop her in and out of here. Pretty good. Let's do a little animation. Alright, we got these set up. Next thing we want to do is uh, make some more of these. And the way you do that is like this. You get these Certus Quartz seeds by combining uh, sand and the crushed Certus Quartz. The Certus Quartz dust. dust. <laughs> that uh, we've been finding around. And we're going to make a little spot for this, because we're definitely going to be doing this, whoops, more than once. Now my axe is around here somewhere, but I'm just being lazy. There we go. Throw some water in here. And then all of these takes about 10 minutes. For these to do their thing. And you'll notice you get two seeds, so... And then you can grind up the crystals for dust. So once you have some of this stuff, it's, uh, it's renewable. Now we're going to do the same thing with some Fluix dust. We ground up some of the Fluix crystals that we found. Uh, in the meteorites, we'll get, uh... 64 seeds for that. Yeah, you can see these are bigger. They'll be uh, full crystals when they're done growing. But yeah, you can, uh, you know, as long as you're paying attention, 
once you have some of that stuff, you never run out. Next thing is the controller. Now this is the... You need this. <laughs> Nothing happens without... Uh, what are those? Skystone blocks. What do we have here? Skystone. How do you make a skystone block? Um, you make it out of small bricks. Out of bricks. Hmm. Do I have to smelt this stuff? Sure looks like it. Yeah, there's our answer. Alright, let's go ahead and make this thing. Alright, good, we got the quest. I did not want to have to come back. Now we should be able to pop this uh, right down. Yeah, okay. Doing all kinds of things for us. We are also... Let's see. Where's the thing we want? We're going to want a crafting monitor. So we'll need a crafting unit and a storage monitor. A storage monitor, we'll need an illuminated panel, so we're going to need some quartz glass. Okay, let's put this together. That's crafting storage. We'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> Definitely get to that. Make a little bit of quartz glass here. That'll be fine. And what else do we need? We need, uh... We're gonna need... Come on. Glowstone, redstone, and iron. Do we have glowstone? We have a little bit. Glowstone, redstone... We're gonna have to go mining. Or come up with a better idea. Let's see. Doing a terrible job here. Okay. Three illuminated panels. And this and I think a level emitter, was it? Yeah. Okay. So we'll need a calculation processor. That's uh, Certus Quartz. We haven't seen this one yet. It works just like the other ones. I forget which uh, which one of these things I have it in. I think this is it. Yeah. All right. We'll make a redstone torch. Combine it with a calculation processor. That gives us our level emitter. Now we have a storage monitor. And with this thing, we can combine it with a crafting unit to make... Uh, to make our crafting monitor. So we're going to need two more calculation processors and the, the last piece we haven't seen, the logic processor, that's just gold in the final uh, inscriber. Ah, or I could be completely up the wrong street and what we actually need is an ME interface. So we're going to start, actually we're going to start by checking on our seeds. See how they're doing. Yeah, I don't know if the flukes ones are... Oh, yeah, there's still seeds in all different... All different progress. I don't know if you saw the tooltip there, but uh, these won't despawn, so you don't really have to worry about them that much. Right, I'm not sure what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Let's try... Where were we? Uh, crafting something. Um, we had the, uh, the crafting monitor, which I actually wasn't sure about. We had the Yummy interface. Okay, formation cores. So we want two of these, and we'll need two flux dust. That's amethyst. We'll need two flux dust. Okay, let's take a look at this interface here. We're going to need uh, two formation cores, I guess. Not too hard to make. There it is. Oh, we're going to need an annihilation core. We have a logic processor. We do. 
What was the other thing there? I missed it. Annihilation core flux dust. Oh, quartz. That's what we don't have. Okay. You gotta go get some quartz. That's uh, we're we're in rough shape for quartz. All right, there's our annihilation cores. Now we've got an interface. Let's see if it's what I think it is here. Yeah, not really what I'm looking for. Aha! Here's what I'm looking for. The crafting terminal. Okay. What we're going to need is... I keep... I, I thought... You know, I thought it was a block, and I wasn't looking for... Okay, another two of those. We'll need an illuminated panel and a logic processor. So let's make that happen. Here we go. One terminal. Now we could use this as is. Um, it would allow us, if we had anything in our ME system, it would allow us to see it. We don't. So we're going to combine it with uh, we're gonna planks lying around with the crafting table. And what else? A calculate. Oh, we have a calculation processor. Fantastic. Now this will allow us to craft, and we can click into it from REI, uh, I hope. Um, we generally can, but we're going to need some storage. So for that, we're going to want to make a disk drive. Where is it? There it is. Oh, no, that's the wrong disk drive. Let's see. Uh, let's go back to Applied Energistics. Hey, get down there. All kinds of problems. Just not doing it right. Okay, ME drive is what it's called. We'll just need two engineering processors. We have everything else. Put this together. Well, let's uh, let's do it over here for uh, demonstration purposes. Make sure that this uh, this actually works the way I expect it to. Where the disk drive? The ME drive. Okay, yeah, it'll take it out of your inventory. It'll take it uh, out of storage up there. Just going to pop it down. And finally, we're going to need some digital storage. Those are portable. I don't really want the portable ones, I don't think. Emmy item storage cell. Okay, yeah, now we're talking. So we'll need these storage components. For that, we'll need some logic processors. We're not going to want to stop at, uh, at the 1K. The 4K, this will take three. So three gold. And then if we move up to the 16K, this here, OK, so nine gold. Aha! They're all done. We might not have quite enough because this wants us, the quest line wants us to make all of them. So we'll start. Okay, we need redstone and we need these Certus Quartz crystals that we've been, uh, that we've been cooking up. I thought I had, oh, I've got to run them through the machine. Let's see if we're missing anything still. All right, we got our, our, our 1K. There we go. There's the storage component. And here is, oh, what was that that we didn't have? Iron. Just iron. Okay, finally, a little bit of digital storage. We can throw this in here. And now, we should be able to put things in here. Let's 
It's going somewhere. It's definitely going somewhere. I don't have that stuff in my inventory anymore. Why can't I see it? It's definitely in here. You can see the uh, the bites used. That looks like things are still going in there. Let's uh, see what other kind of terminals we have. Oh, there we go. We type down here. And it takes all this. So these two are hooked up. Okay. I didn't expect that. So now we're seeing stored items. So if we go applied. And now let's say we wanted to make the next tier up. So we'd want three of these, right? Oh, we're gonna need more uh, more crystals. Boy, these these this used to be separated, I think. Um, search settings. Aha! There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, we'll make two more of these. Throw them in there. I keep losing my place. <laughs> All right. One 4K storage component. And finally, whoops, that didn't work. That was the, not the one. Where's the, uh, right there. Yeah. I wonder why that didn't click in. So, the basic, it can hold 63 different kinds of items, and it can hold 1,024 total kinds of items. This 4K can still only hold 63 types of items, but can, you know, hold a whole lot of, uh, of them. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, I guess. Now, the 16K... I think we're going to need... Oh, we have a lot of these, don't we? Let's go ahead and uh, make some logic circuits. Now, this is interesting. I think these are going right in here. Let's see. Yeah, they're going straight in. I thought we'd need uh, something else <laughs> to do that with. I'm not complaining. Is that what we wanted? I don't think so. Looking for a 16, so we're going to need nine of these guys. There we are. Because we're going to need three. Okay, we need more redstone. Here we go. Three of those. And let's see. One of these. Our precious dwindling supply of glowstone. So I throw it in here. Throw it in there. One 16K storage component. And one... 16k disc. Let's move some stuff. Now at some point we got a 16k cell as a quest reward. And there's no reason not to throw that right in there. We also have a, a little bit of fluid storage. Um, not a lot of fluid storage. I don't really have any fluids I want to put in here right now. But, uh, you know, we got it. No reason not to use it. We can always make another drive. But we need more discs. And I think that's going to about do it for today, folks. Uh, pretty happy 
with the progress we made in an ME system, even a relatively simple one like this is a huge step up in, uh, in our quality of life. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, next time, we're probably going to expand it a little bit and uh, then work some more on the house. So uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.